hi and welcome to this um, tutorial video and um this is the third video on the, um um on um whatsapp e-commerce store you understand and this is the concluding video um my name is ogundim Olimde olalikon the founder of lecrosoft um, technologies so i'll be showing you how you can integrate the payments api to your pay stack dashboard and make everything work perfectly all right, let's quickly get started without wasting our time. And uh, what we need to do is um, um, you you log into your uh, was ash dashboard, then you click on this payment. Um, there's a payment. Um, there's a payment button here. You understand? You you click on this payment icon that is here. Let me quickly use my brush. Now, after clicking on that payment, this is what you're gonna do. You see now. You have about like four payment options like the stripe the pay later and the raise laser pay and pay stack but we are using pay stack and i'm showing you how you can integrate pay stack to your store now click on configure on that configure now you will see now it is going to show you i mean those things that they require from me but after clicking on that configure you have to click on this um this radio button to enable the pay stack you understand now on getting there now you need um you need about like um two things which is what the publish publishable key and the secret key you understand but before that there's this thing they they give you here this link they call it what web hook this web hook is what you are going to copy let us quickly copy this web hook you can see if you read it very well they place this web book in your account configuration uh, account configuration payment won't be confirmed if you have not set up this yes so after you click on copy you copy this web hook i'm talking about this web book that is here you understand you copy that's all you need to do from here at the first place so you copy it after copying it then you know that they also ask you for a publishable key and what and secret key so that's what we are going to go get now now after copying it don't forget you have already copied this api uh, key i mean this web hook to our uh, um, clipboard then let's quickly go to um our pick stack dashboard um if you are just watching this video you know if you are watching for my youtube channel or whatever i have already uploaded a video where i show you how to i mean how to you know log in and create a pay stack account you understand and please if you haven't subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe to my channel for more video because i'm going to be uploading more videos like these and um and how you can get some things done easily you understand so on getting to your pay stack you just have to let me just get it up here let me just get to the dashboard so that you will get it better i'm just going to click on home let's click on home so when you log into your pay stack you are going to it's going to take you to the dashboard this yeah this thing is not responsive but that doesn't matter so what you need to do is what click on this icon that is there that user icon that you have the last icon that is there wait let me highlight it so that i can get what i'm seeing very well you click on this icon the last one the very last one that has a drop down that, like an um like an icon like a user icon you understand click on that drop down you understand the icon the last icon i mean um, at the right side of the bell then you click on um preferences that's the third option there you click on what preferences you know that's it so let's click on that preferences and see what we're going to have here no i meant to click on ref uh, preferences preferences you understand that is it after you click on preferences um you see that you have so many things that you need to do first of um that's where you get to set your profile you know the other time we have created a profile and whatever then you click go to that preference then you have other settings to be done which method do you want to use to accept payment is it by card or by bank or you can check it or if you want it in us ussd they also have usd code or, or qr code you know just do the settings the way you want it then this is where we are going this is what we actually need here um api keys and web hook you click on the API keys and web hook. You understand them. This is my, uh, this is my, uh, what's it called? This is my life's, uh, life's uh, key. I'm supposed to keep this as a secret. You understand? I'm going to blow it. Now, this, this life key is what you are going to copy. But first of all, before you do anything, that web hook that you copied from was Ash. Under this um live web hook URL, you are going to, because I already, I'm already using this, my, uh, what's it called? My Pay stack account for another app so i won't be able to paste this my um where was up a link here but the one you copy from your own was that was what's ash dashboard is what you are going to place 
on this world where you understand you're going to place it like this you you, you paste it there you understand like this you are integrating down api to paste tag and you're also copying the live uh what's it called live um publisher key public key that you have here and you also co copy what the live secret key if i want to open it, i can i can make it open but i don't want to open it so you are going to copy this your live secret key a public key and then um, your live secret key first of let us talk about the live public key or le let's talk about the live public key you, you click on it you highlight it or you can even see you can see a copy icon here that will allow you to copy it you understand don't forget when you get to this watch as dashboard the first thing to do is what the web the, the web hook that you have copied from your um I mean, when you get to this space tag dashboard, the web hook that you have copied from your um, from your um, what ash is what you are going to place under this web hook URL. Then you are also getting something from them, right? You are going to copy their own li uh, live public key. You copy this link, then you go to your what ash, and you what you place it under what publishable key. You understand? That's what you are going to put it, right? That's the public key. Now, after placing it, then the next thing you need to do again is what. You go to that paste tag again. The, the 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 secret key that is there. You, you you click on it or you can open it here. I don't want to open it. There is an eye icon here. Whereby when you open it, you understand. You be able to see the link and you copy. But I don't want to open it now because it's my secret key. You understand? Then you copy it. You click on it and you copy it. You understand? Then you also after copying it, then you what? You go to your 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 what's ash. Then you also what? You paste it under the word under the secret key. Then you what? You save. Bam. And you are done that is it so you start receiving payment into your pay stack dashboard i want to keep this video as short as possible so uh, all right now let's quickly do other settings before i go um the other setting i quickly want to show you is this um you can quickly go to that um what's it called the checkout it's very important as well let me come again you go to what the checkout and then on that checkout you quickly go to whatsapp you understand you can do that setting. just play with it but this was up now. They are we have two options. Like if you select this, uh you see now this was up of official number that is to say whenever you receive order, the order will go to your WhatsApp dashboard. But if you don't want it like that, if you want it to always go to your WhatsApp number, that, that is going to like whenever somebody make order on your site, that is you want to receive the message directly on your WhatsApp um whatsapp number then you choose this do they didn't recommend it, but it's you, I, I think I prefer this because you won't be logging to WhatsApp. All the time so when you click on this whatsapp number and then you select the number that you want to watch you want to use that's my number you put it there like you put your own number as well then you know i already input my number at the right time so then i'll click on save and that's it whenever i already make order now i'm going to receive the order directly into my what whatsapp um dm and you have other settings that you can play with but that, that's just the most paramount one then again there are some other things that you might want to collect from your clients when making orders like the form if you don't want like there's someone that you can activate like if you want to collect their name if you want to collect their email while making order maybe their address you want to collect maybe two of their numbers you can also what, enable all these things cities states you understand country pin code all those things you can what you can enable it but i don't need that for now because i'm just using this thing for tutorial sake you understand i'm not actually i already have my own e-commerce website where i say something so i'm just using this thing just to just for um a tutorial sake you understand and again, because uh, most of people that have subscribed to my channel, they, you know, they commented that, yes, yeah, so they want me to, you know, conclude the video, this and that. So I just have to quickly make this video. So I'm sorry if I'm a bit fast, but let me quickly brush through what we just did now. When you get your WhatsApp, click on the payment button. On getting to the payment button, click on paste, uh, configure pay stack, you understand? Enable the, enable the live key. After enabling it, then you want, you, you, you copy this web hook, just click on copy button that is there. After copying it, you go to your paste tag dashboard. When you get to your paste tag dashboard, all you need to do is what is to click on that last icon that is beside the bell icon on the dashboard. This icon, then you select what preference. When you select preference, it will take you to this um, particular dashboard. So when when you get to that dashboard, uh, that is after you make after you have already make sure that your 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 paste tag uh, this thing is alive. I mean, it's live rather. Your, your pay stack account is live. If it's on in this green, it means it is live that you can receive payments. But if it's not live, it will be on test mode and there's not going to be any transaction that will be done. So for you to be able to do this thing, you always make sure that what your pay stack account is live. And I've already talked about that in my um, first video, I mean my second video. So if you have not watched that video, you can request for the link or you check the words. You check um, the comment section. I already dropped the link there in the description of this video. You understand? That is if you are watching from my YouTube channel. 
So thank you very much and um, I'm going to see you um, in my next video. And please make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos like this. Thank you very much. Bye.